And now we're about ready to get into the water. And the water is, I'm going to put a little bit of that green into the water as well, and maybe a little bit of the yellow, those two together, and me blue, and I'm going to get this lovely colour, I hope. Ah, there it is. See, nice dark colour. And then, one, two, one, two, come on, right across your man, you see, and then go on down past him. Ignore him, in other words, drown him. <laughs> there he goes. Let me hear a funny story as I'm doing this. South Korean theatre, cinema owner. He thought that the sound of music was too long. So he decided he'd shorten it. And you know what he did? To make it shorter, he took out all the musical bits. <laughs> That's absolutely true. So you had the sound of music with no music. That's clever. Now I'm going right down to the bottom of the page here. That's what I've got to do. Adding in some of this mixture into my paint. There you go. I go right up again because I'm going to put in some flowing water in a minute, and don't worry. Now my man is out fishing in the middle of his lake, isn't he? And I put a little bit of burnt umber there, and it'll probably run into the water a bit. Watch this now. Because I'm putting it on when it's wet, what till you see what'll happen? See, it'll kind of sink down and create its own shadow. Method of the old madness. Now we've got to dry that. Very quickly. Now that's fairly bland looking water, isn't it? But wait till we're finished with it and you'll see. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush. Where is my brush? This? Oh, there it is. Baby goat hair. I'm going to make up some rock colour. Mm. So that'll be a bit of, bit of these three here which is the light red, the green, and the burnt umber. And then we're going to put a couple of rocks in. We put a rock there. Look, there's a rock there. See, we'll add in the water and that around them in a minute. And then there's a big rock there, huge big one. Because, you know, it's around some of these rocks and places that the, the big trout, they sit, yeah, they hide, they bask, they enjoy themselves, hoping that us silly fishermen are going to try and catch them. Isn't that the thought now? And then if one there, if another rock there. That, that's about the amount of the rocks. Now I'm going to dry this now. And then while I'm doing that, we're going off with another little visitation, as the seller says. This time you're going to see what I would be considering to be some wonderful art. Off you go. In this part of the McMichael Gallery, we have an exhibition by a man called Joe Norris. Now, to tell you very quickly about him, he was 49 years of age, he had a very serious heart attack. So he couldn't work, so he took a painting. And my goodness me, he painted on everything, on seats, on boxes, on even on the frames of the pictures, you notice. I think it brings a kind of a smile to your face, this kind of art, doesn't it? It's so happy, so friendly, so bright. We're going to show you a few more of those. Okie dokie, Joe Norris, what a wonderful man, and a self-taught artist. You know, I often believe, to tell you straight, that self-taught artists are often better than the trained ones, because there's a free spirit about the man. He had a heart attack and he went off and he did that. Isn't he wonderful? Now look, what I'm doing is, with my finger, I'm rubbing out our fisherman, and hopefully he'll appear. <laughs> yeah, there he goes, look at that. We can soon make a job of him now, let's take off. 
blow away all the rubber and stuff, and now we start building him. Now we take the number six round first. We're going to put in his jacket on him first. Another one of these kind of khaki type jackets, and now yeah, we just put it in there. There's his elbow on his sleeve. And See? Give a bit of. And the light's probably coming that way, so we, we, we kind of uh, leave a bit of light there now. Got an arm to go in there now, we got to be careful, you know. And then we've got to put his trousers on, hmm? His wadery trousers, yeah, they, they were here. Okay. And then his boots are next. These boots were made of walking, and these boots are green. So we're going to make a kind of a yellowy colour with a bit of blue, that kind of green. You know those kind of nice waders that the fishermen wear? Yeah. One in there, and one in there. Now we've got to pick the dark side of them. Now that's there, and there, because the light's coming down the stream a bit. And the same thing would apply with his shoulder here, would be kind of darker than. And it's underneath there. Only just fiddling around now just to create a sense of fisherman. Now we